Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of JLD Reactions. Today, we're going to be watching Supernatural Season 3, Episode 3, entitled Bad Day at Black Rock. So, last week's episode, what was last week's episode about? Oh, yeah, that girl, there's that blonde girl who fights people and the changelings. That was a good episode. I actually enjoyed that episode. That was a good Monster of the Week. Um, like I said, I've noticed that the Monster of the Week episodes have been getting better, have gotten better, so I'm okay with that. And, like I said, they also introduced Blonde Girl. I don't remember her name. Did she even tell her name? I honestly don't remember. I don't know what her deal is. But it turns out that she's probably just a possessed girl, a possessed lady who can fight. I don't know. Um, okay, anyway, guys, let's get started. But before we do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Also, you can get the full reaction to this video and to other videos on Patreon. Let's get started. Who's that, Gordon? It's true. The Devil's Gate was open in Wyoming. Wyoming? Big. St. Helen is big. Now I'm telling you, this boy is a part of it. Track him down, Kubrick. You come to see it too. Sam Winchester must die. That's surprised me that. Did you find out this ruby chick is a demon? You go for the holy water, you don't chat. No one was chatting, Dean. Oh yeah, then why didn't you send her ass back to- Wait, what's her name, Ruby? Hell. Because- because she said she might be able to help us out. How? No, really, Sam, how? How could she possibly help she us? She told me she could help you, okay? Yeah. Help you out of the Crossroads deal. What's wrong with you, huh? She's lying. You gotta know that, don't you? She knows what your weakness is. It's me. Really bleeding to death. Uh, I'm gonna open it. <laughs> Grossman, look, what if this is really worth something? What, we should just... Hand it over to her? Hey, we took all the risk. Hell, Wayne, you got shot. An offer a lousy few hundred bucks. Huh, we could make more selling whatever it is ourselves. What's in it? A demon? Guys, not to be a drag or nothing, but it's six o'clock in the morning. Right. Can't you keep it no, going? We just got a situation here, is all. Oh, Sorry. these guys sound super good. What the hell happened to you? Shotgun happened to me. Hey, Grossman? Yeah. Under my sink, there's a medical kit. And get some water boiling. I used to be an army medic, you know? And now? So I guess this is your lucky day. <laughs> you going, know, numb? I guess this is your lucky day. Oh! Oh! The lucky rabbits when they have luck on their side. That's what it is. Okay. No, you don't. Are they working it out to where Sam's going to be able to, like, fight and stuff now because he has a lucky rabbit's foot? And why didn't John Winchester carry that lucky rabbit's foot around with him if it was going to give him a give him some type of advantage? I'm not finding anything on it in Dad's journal. <laughs> 
Dean, come on. What? Yeah. Hey, that was my gun. He was aiming at your head. My gun don't jam, so that was a lucky break. Not to mention them taking themselves out. Also a lucky break. Here, scratch Dean's one. got the right idea. Come on, Sam. Scratch and win. But if you win, you're you're a felon. Dean, it's got to. You can't cash in. Otherwise, Dad wouldn't have locked it up. One hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. You just won twelve hundred dollars. Woo! I don't know, man. It doesn't seem that cursed to me. Oh, he's gonna fall on that pitchfork. I didn't see where I went through. Did it go through his stirrup? Oh my god. Sorry about that. It's alright. Is that a wig? Was that Rose from the Vampire Diaries? Yes, that is Rose from the Vampire Diaries. Dude, if you were ever going to get lucky. Sure. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh. Sorry. He lost the rabbit's foot. How was that good? Oh my god. Son of a bitch. I knew that was a wig! <laughs> Come on. Uh oh, you gotta be careful. She knew about the rabbit's foot. Is she a hunter? Pretty friggin' far from a hunter, but she knows her way around the territory. She's been out of the country. Last I heard, she was in the Middle East someplace. Uh, I guess she's back. Which means seriously bad luck for you. I like that. I like that they're incorporating not just hunters, but there's also other players in this universe besides hunters. I think it's good that they're expanding the universe. So, I don't know what Bella is or who she is, really. What is she, like, a spy? That works within this universe. She sp she steals artifacts for money to sell on the black market. Who knows? Who? Great. But if it is Bella, at least I might know some folks who know where to find her. Thanks, Bobby. Again, just look out for your brother, you idiot. <laughs> idiot. You left without your tip. Don't do that. back. <laughs> Sweetie. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Bella, right? That's right. Dean. You know the thing's cursed, don't you? You'd be surprised what some people would pay for something like that. Really? There's a lucrative market out there. A lot of money to be made. What's going on out there and this is what you decided to do with it? I, I would be like her. You become a thief? Oh. Oh, she is a thief. I procure a unique item. Sorry, because I was thinking, okay, yeah, I forgot she stole it from their parents. But if you were if you were just happening to get collect artifacts from 
you know, demons that you kill or whatever, then of course you can take the artifacts and sell it for money. Why not? But she did steal from them, so technically that belongs to the Winchesters. So, no, I wouldn't steal. So you're only up for yourself, huh? It's all about number one. Being a hunter is so much more noble. Bunch of obsessed, revenge-driven sociopaths trying to save a world that can't be saved. Oh, aren't you a glass? I like her. Cold? We're all going to hell, Dean. Might as well enjoy the ride. I actually agree with you there. Anywho, this has been charming, but uh, look at the time. Oh, and this. Oh, you got it. It's like you're not the only one with sticky fingers. If it's any consolation, I think you're a truly awful person. <laughs> Look, I can explain all of that. Shut up. It's God, Greedy. He led us here for one reason. To do his work. This is destiny. Whoa. Nope. No destiny. Just a rabbit's foot. Put the gun down, son, or you're gonna be scraping brain off the wall. Oh, this thing? Yeah, that thing. Okay. But you see, there's something about me that you don't know. Yeah, what would that be? It's my lucky day. Oh my God, did you see that shot? <laughs> I'm amazing. I'm Batman. Yeah, you're Batman. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you don't just go around shooting people like that. Relax. It's a shoulder hit. I can aim. Besides, who here hasn't shot a few people? Put the rabbit's foot on the ground now. All right! All right. Take it easy. Think fast. <laughs> Ooh, she does shit. Now you gotta destroy it. Good thing, now. Dean. What do you say we destroy that ugly ass piece of dead thing? Oh! Forgot we're at $46,000. I almost forgot about the. Scratch <laughs> tickets. Oh, she's still. So... They couldn't use them anyway. We gotta get me the hell out of here. Cause like I told you before, Sam Winchester must die. Okay guys. That was Supernatural 3, episode 3. I love that episode. I thought that was a great episode. Um, definitely a nice solid eight and a half for me. Great episode, great episode. I love the tonal shift. This was the first episode... I can't speak. This was like the first episode that actually felt genuinely like funny to me as opposed to the other episode with the trickster. I didn't think that episode was that funny. Because the humor was different. This, this whole episode just had a complete... The whole tone was just different. Like even the background music they used. I kind of felt like I was watching... Like, my name is Earl or something. I don't know. It just felt... It kind of felt like a little sitcom-y, but I liked it. I definitely want to see more Bella. I loved her. I thought she was... I thought she was... She made a great femme fatale. And she and I agree. Like, they can go save the world. I'm like, no. Well, while you're saving the world, I'll be selling this for $1.5 million. Like, that's me. Um, because I am a capitalist. So... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, 
But I like her philosophy. I like that she's not a goody two shoes, but she's not evil either. She's just trying to make some money, really. I don't think she would have killed Sam. Maybe. Maybe she would have. Hopefully she'll be a recurring character. I really liked her. Now, the other girl, the blonde girl, I feel like this, I feel like Bella is what Ruby wanted to be. Does that make sense? Like, with the acting, I feel like Ruby was trying to come off like Bella, but it just didn't work for me. Ruby just came off as really annoying. And kind of a know-it-all. But, you know, they can still fix Ruby. She's only been in, like, an episode, really. We've only seen her talk in, like, one episode. So, she can still... They can still fix her character before it's too late. Um, and they also... It seems like they're gonna introduce a proper villain for this season. So, I'm thinking there's gonna be several vi villains. Obviously, the demons. But they're also gonna be fighting against this religious nut job and Gordon. So I'm thinking they're going to be ongoing villains for the season. So that's a nice change. It'll be nice to get something besides just, you know, the demons. Because I was scared once they let all the demons out of the, the, out of the hell gate. I was scared that every episode was just going to be demon episode, demon episode, demon episode, demon. I'm like, uh, please, not. I hope they don't do that. But they haven't been doing that so far. The changelings. And the changelings, that was a nice... That was a nice change from, you know, demon or ghost. Demon or ghost. It was a nice change. Um, but that's really all I have to say about the episode. Really good episode. Really funny. Nice little tonal change. Um, so, yeah. Nice solid eight and a half for me. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.